Hello everyone, once again welcome to my IT channel. Today we will see one case note. This is the letter presented on 8th January 2022. So this letter actually we are going to write to a nursing home care manager in a nursing home and we are referring one patient who has Alzheimer's disease along with some other disease conditions. So, this is actually the letter came on this specified day. So, you can see that in 2022, mostly all letters are uh, like nearly same, uh, especially it's like a twisting letter. So, uh, mostly you are a community health nurse and you are doing home visit regularly. In between, husk, I mean, uh, home visits, you are finding out something so that you are writing letter to someone. So, this is the common scenario what we are seeing. Uh, during this 2022 but there will be changes in some time but if you practice in the same uh, way I mean in the same type of question paper I hope it will be easy for your upcoming exams anyway we will see the question paper first then we will go to the uh, sample letter and one more thing don't skip the explanations because there are some criteria while you are reading the question paper there are uh, many things you will skip so when you are reading the writing task so there is a technique to read so you can just follow this video so that you will come to know how to read the case note how to underline how to uh, take the relevant data to organize the letter because many of students have many of our students have the problem to organize the letter and this is what the peculiarity of this year that is a 2022 questions for OET letter anyway we will move to the writing task first Using the information given in the case note, write a letter to Nursing Home Care Manager, Primor, uh, Prime Rose Nursing Home, 101 Riverside Road, Darlington, LDH 15047. So, here they have given, the reader is Nursing Home Care Manager and addresses are given. In your letter, briefly outline current history as well as wife's concern for further need of her husband. So, one thing I have to tell you that here they have given briefly outline the current history as well as wife's concern for further need. If something is written like that, uh, just give some, uh, I mean, the uh, some priority to that phrases. You can see here, this is a current history. So, you have to write in brief regarding the current history of the patient. Don't skip that as well as wife's concern. So, you should not skip that. So, this is Sometimes we will we will miss that points. No need to see there. Just we can go to the uh, patient and what are the things and uh, what is the recommendations. We will finish it off. Not like that. In the writing task, if there's something if specified, you should not skip that point. Example, same here, current history as well as wife's concern. Then we will move to the writing task. Assume that today's date is 8 January 2022. So you got the date that is exam date mostly. You are a community nurse. Keep the point and underline the point. In Alden Hospital, responsible for the care of an elderly patient, providing home visits once in every week. So you are giving home visit for the patient every week. That is weekly once. Patient's name has given Mr. Derek Harrison. Age is given. So when you are um, getting both date of birth and age, prefer to write age 85 years. And uh, what other things is important, I will tell you. Just you can underline the same way. Social background. Anyway, this letter, it is not a noun case. So, you have to take all personal and social background. He is a retired man, lives with wife. And uh, when you are reading, give concentration. History of arthritis since 2017. Not for the patient, for his wife. And um, they have a son. Actually, it is not relevant data. We can take moderate drinker, consumes 10 units of alcohol. That's enough. See, smoking, no need because already stopped, so no need. And then in this case, actually, there is importance for listening music. So that listening to music, that one is important. That's all regarding the social paragraph. We will uh, move to the medical history. Uh, they have given how many disease conditions. Diabetes type 2 since 1987, hypertension since 1987, same years, and on amlodipine 5 mg OD. And um, patient is on insulin, land test uh, daily, one per week. Then from 2020, patient has Alzheimer's disease. 
and because of that now patient has patient had memory loss difficulty in locating things and toilet due to which shifted to respite care for three weeks so for that patient already went for respite care so as you know that respite care means it is a temporary care maybe for three weeks two weeks one month like that due to lack of care as per his wife this is the conversation from uh, his wife he lost the habits like listening to music diabetes diet exercises etc moreover patient has developed decreased memory loss increased agitation routine activities delayed anger and disorientation these all will comes under patient's medical history moreover the current medication they have given once again insulin injection uh, to by uh, day and amlodipine uh, for hypertension one per daily once daily next they have given gp's consultation is like scenario we are going to start the scenario 15 december 2021 so there is a history of fall in the street so that uh, he has undergone the gp consultation you will get uh, confusion because this gp consultation has given up so um, that is diagnosis is left to calf muscle laceration nothing only laceration was there so that home visits by the community nurse has been arranged once in a weekly for dressing with the hydrocolloid so now you are starting your home visit so during your home visit on 25 december 2021 uh, you are not healed you can see that there is no improvement 1 january 2022 you can see the dressing and is not satisfied with the wound healing and his wife also concerned about the delayed wound healing and uh, in the same time wife's arthritis that the arrow mark upper arrow mark is showing that increasing signs and symptoms of arthritis so patient got agitated but calm with music constantly with the music on radio but angry while communication anyway on 8 january 2022 when you are writing exam uh, this is the date of letter we have changed the dressing you not healed still so mr harrison for girls even wife's name and location of toilet wife is most con- more concerned because he could not able to uh he could not uh, find out uh, the person and uh, the the i mean the bathroom and moreover he used to wake up at night three to four times so these all are uh, the concerns uh, we can we could see that worsening of alzheimer's disease unable to locate toilet occasionally wakes up at night three to four times and they have given disorientation due to changes in routine require assistance and reassurance with the daily living activities showering and toileting uh, so these are all actually it will comes uh, uh, like a recommendation also because they didn't give any other recommendations so the care discussed with the wife uh, she wants better care for him so this is the request by his wife current status is delayed wound healing so they have given the current status when you are writing exam it is delayed wound healing the plan is patient transferring to respite care after two days for one month so this is the plan you have to mention it in the introduction paragraph and in the recommendation paragraph in the recommendation actually nothing but uh, they didn't mention anything regarding the dressing changes maybe it will come inside the respite care but they specified regarding the assistance and reassurance with daily living activities so that one we can mention in the recommendation paragraph so once again i will read you the writing task using information given in the case note write a letter to nursing uh, home care manager prime bros nursing home 101 riverside road darlington adelaide 15040 so in your letter briefly outline current history as well as wife's concern for further need of her husband so uh, this is the case note actually uh before going to the letter writing just we have to uh, set up some things that means you have to find out what is the recent present medical condition what is the requirement requirement and how to write the present medical paragraph so what is the um, present present medical condition here we have to write two things because patient currently patient has problem with alzheimer disease as well as delayed wound healing so both you have to mention here that means uh we can write worse than the alzheimer's diversening alzheimer disease and delayed wound healing what is a requirement this is nothing but respite care okay for one month and how we can present the i mean the present medical paragraph just we can have a short story here 
uh, when the problem started because here the problem with Alzheimer's disease. So you have to mention Alzheimer's disease first like um, the patient name you can mention like uh, Mr. Harrison has had uh, Alzheimer's disease since 2020. Then you can uh, write what all the complaints she has uh, he has now. And then you can write because of um, this he is suffering uh, like this like this. Then you can write regarding um, patients delayed wound healing and uh, what all things is happening with that uh, wound healing. And uh, we can mention patients wife's arthritis. We can sum up that because of uh, increased arthritis problem she could not take care uh, her husband. So she requested for she has requested for the respite care. That's why we are referring uh, the patient to your facility. Like that we can sum up the present medical paragraph and remember present medical paragraph we can split it into two only two some students used to write three four like that no it's not allowed in uh, OET present medical paragraph we can write only two we can split it into two we will start with the date 8 January 2022 address is given nursing home care manager Prime Rose Nursing Home and the complete address you have to write. Then the salutation, dear sir or madam, because it's not sure that whether it is nurse or no. So you can write dear sir or madam. Reference Mr. Derek Harrison, aged 85. Then we will start the introduction paragraph. I am writing to request respite care for Mr. Derek Harrison, who has worsening of Alzheimer's disease, or you can write who has worsening Alzheimer's disease and delayed wound healing. So both are important. He is said to be transferred into your care after two days. So this is the introduction paragraph. Recent present medical condition is worsening Alzheimer's disease and delayed wound healing both and the, um, I mean the uh, requirement is respite care and the discharge plan is after two days we are going to transfer the patient. Then we will write the present medical paragraph. So we will start with um, uh, general practitioners consultation. So on 15 December 2021, comma, Mr. Harrison was consulted by his general practitioner. So this G and P should be caps lock following a fall at street. Therefore, comma, he has been initiated with weekly home visit for hydrocolloid dressing. Sorry, home visit with hydrocolloid dressing for his lacerator calf muscle by our nursing service so there is a correction therefore he has been initiated with a weekly home visit uh, yeah you can write for hydrocolloid dressing for his lacerator calf muscle by our nursing service you have to mention by our nursing service not uh, with community health nurse because you are the one community health nurse even though he has no progress in his wound healing so simply you can sum up no need to write like day by day you can just sum up even though he has no progress in his wound healing some of them they will have the confusion that even though how to be used for connecting between one negative i mean one positive and one uh, negative yeah you can write like that and if, if the sentences are very um, lengthy you can just write even in this way also because it's understood that Already we are doing home visit, but there is no progress. So in this way also we can write no problem. Then we will go to the main topic. So in addition, so here we already wrote regarding the delayed wound healing. So can, even though he has no progress in his wound healing, that means it's delayed wound healing. Then we can uh, introduce Alzheimer's disease. So we have to write in addition, Mr. Harrison has had, so remember if there is disease condition uh, already started from many years before and the date is mentioned or year mentioned means you have to write has had or else if there is no e -er indicated you can write has. So here it's given 2022 so you can write uh, Mr. Harrison has had Alzheimer's disease, Alzheimer's disease since 2020 and remember if it is Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Addison disease, something like that, um, if we are, the disease conditions with the scientist or doctor's name, just use caps lock. It's Alzheimer's disease A and disease B. Currently, he has agitation, angry while communication, disorientation, increasing memory loss, as well as unable to locate even toilet occasionally and wakes up three to four times at night. So, these are all the um, significance of the current significance of uh, patient with Alzheimer's disease. 
Then you can write the patient's wife's concern. Thus, his wife was increased, wife has increased anxiety and concern about his care. Since she has increased symptoms of arthritis and could not provide him a better care for which she has requested his referral into your service because this is a request from um, his wife, not from our side. So that's why we are writing. Since she has increased symptoms of arthritis and could not provide um, uh, him a better care or provide better care for him, uh, she has requested his referral into your service. Actually, that for which no need there, no need to mention. You can write, uh, you know, with the comma, you can do. She has requested his referral into your service. Then uh, it is clear uh, patient has delayed wound healing as well as Alzheimer's disease plus patient's wife have uh, arthritis problems so it is very difficult for her to take care of husband so she is requesting the referral. So that is the present medical paragraph by which uh, it is clear that what is the need I mean what is the reason behind of uh, this referral. Then Mr. Harrison lives with his wife this is a social paragraph Mr. Harrison lives with his wife and consumes 10 units of alcohol. This is a personal history and he prefers listening to music, not listen to music, listening to music. Then regarding the medical, he has had type 2 diabetes and hypertension since 1987 and on injection lattice, it is twice, sorry there is a mistake, uh, second time I mean in the, uh, the last part they have given twice, twice daily, lattice uh, twice daily. And amlodipine, comma, 5 mg uh, daily, comma. So, in case of, uh, in, I mean, in case of uh, medication, you have to keep comma in between. So, this is regarding the uh, social paragraph. We will go to the uh, recommendation paragraph. It would be appreciated if you could provide one month continuing care. So, instead of respite care, this is a synonym. You can write continuing care for Mr. Harrison as well as arrange and assistance. Um, and reassurance for his daily living activities includes bathing and toileting. So instead of to and you can write as well as so same meaning it would be appreciated if you could provide one month continuing care for Mr. Harrison as well as arrange an assistance and reassurance for his daily living activities includes bathing and toileting. If you have any queries please not hesitate to contact me yours faithfully raised your nose. So this is the content of our letter. I hope this is clear for you. So just think before writing your present medical paragraph because it is twisting. There will be so much twisting will be there in the case note. More irrelevant data will be there. You have to segregate only relevant data and you have to make a story. So as I mentioned in all earlier videos, there should be a story. Just you write and read. Uh, you can, um, uh, if there is, you can see that there will, be, there should be a sequence from the starting until the end. There should be a uh, storytelling. What is the thing happened for the patient from the uh, start until now when we are writing the letter? Then you can make the sentences. Uh, after each paragraph, just do the proofreading. If there is any mistake, you can just. Um, right then and there that's why I told you we can make use the last paper of the answer sheet make a small note what you want to write then you can uh, write the complete story and um, a social paragraph sometime can be written you can write and the starting then you can write the present medical paragraph or uh, if you are writing in opposite way also it's okay but I prefer if just like present medical par introduction present medical paragraph then social paragraph then uh, the recommendation paragraph. Anyway, it's uh, up to you, but the story should be there uh, for the reader. It should be clear. That's only the thing. Uh, so just you can practice in this way. I hope uh, which will be easy for you to write a twisted letter. Thanks for watching. We will see you with another one informative video. Until then, bye. Take care.